So ladies and gentlemen, today on Screen Socks, we're going to take a quick look why I think the uh, cult soap opera hit Dark Shadows was uh, so popular. Now Dark Shadows, uh, best described as an American style gothic ghost soap opera, uh, was aired weekdays on ABC from June 27, 1966 to April 7th, uh, 1971. Now the show which had various, various weird, bizarre, and horrible plots depict the lives, loves, trials, and tribulations of the wealthy Collins family of Collinsport, Maine, sort of uh, just outside uh, Portland in southern Maine, where a number of supernatural occurrences take place. Uh, more like a million. Uh, the show went all different ways, including vampires, possession, time travel, wolves, cloning, uh, you know, uh, uh, exorcism, you know, in, inhibited by evil spirits, everything you can think of. But this was a few years before uh, The Exorcist came out and it was, uh, back then, it was more, you know, PG-13 horror where everything was horrible, but it was, you know, uh, full of, uh, you know, the tongue-in-cheek uh, style of horror. Now, the series uh, was on for several months before it really... Uh, hit big after uh, vampire Barnabas Collins, played by Canadian Johnson Fred, uh, started uh, showing up in a show about 10 months into its run, which would give it around, uh, you know, spring of 67. Now, uh, it was run almost like a Mercury Theatre approach. You know, we had a, a small uh, cadre of actors who would play uh, several parts. Uh, you know, time travel and different eras and uh, errors parallel universe was part of it. And uh, the sets, uh, you know, creepy, spooky, and all that would reflect, you know, the stage uh, style of the actors. Now, to say that Dark Shadows became a, a cult show would be an understatement. Everything was spun off from this. Sports cards, comic books, uh, soundtracks, uh, posters, uh, you know, uh, clothing, styling, and all that. It was very, you know, melodramatic, Shakespearean, uh, and it ran for over 1,200 episodes. Now, the episodes have been showing up on various uh, cable outlets, including PBS and Sci-Fi in the States over the years, and there's still a very, very uh, vast uh, uh, following. Now, uh, numerous audio dramas have been uh, made of the show, including uh, some of the individual actors of, uh, of the program, Going David Selby, Lara Parker, and uh, Catherine uh, Scott. Now, the major storylines were very, very uh, ratings driven. It would change a lot. Just a breakdown of different storylines. You had the 1966 uh, 7, 7 modern storyline, uh, 1795, 68, 69, back to 1897, back to 6970 in parallel time in 1970. 1995, back to 1970, back to 1840, then 1841, parallel time. So, I mean, uh, you know, you could be tuning in one week and it's in the modern era and it's in the 17 or 1800s the next week. You had to watch pretty well every episode to keep up, and the people uh, just uh, loved it. But the, the, big, uh, the big thing about, uh, about Dark Shadows was just uh, the ratings were completely, completely through the roof majority of the show I mean it was uh, uh, you know led by such great actors as you know uh, Joe Bennett uh, uh, Tyre Dave Lewis Edmonds of course from uh, All My Children Catherine Lee the great Catherine Lee Scott Nancy, Nancy Barrett uh, Joel Crothers Edge of Night alumni uh, you know David Hennessy Tyre David a great character actor uh, many, many, many people showed up in the show that either had, uh, you know, uh, stage presence or former soap opera presence. And and John Carlin, who we can uh, forget to mention John Carlin. Now, the uh, the ratings in the first season was around 4.1, but the ratings almost uh, doubled in the, the third and fourth season, which is tremendous because only as the world turns uh, was. Uh, the main uh, competition in relation to the, uh, uh, you know, the, the main soap competition. Now, through the years, there's been various uh, novels and books and movies 
want to be in the you know spinoffs. House of Dark Shadows and Night Dark, Dark Shadows were great hits for MGM uh, back in the day. There was a TV revival uh, about 15 years after that, and then there was of course the failed uh, Johnny Depp uh, movie and the failed pilot series, the second pilot series that uh, was filmed with uh, Jessica Chastain. Now. I'm not going to, this podcast is not uh, anything to go deep in the history of Dark Shadows because it's too much in depth, but for those who have not seen the show have heard about it, give it a chance. I mean, there was a tremendous, tremendous amount of effort that was put into the show, uh, put in the uh, the staging and the presentation. Uh, And if you're of an age like being, uh, you know, from late 40s, early 50s, Dark Shadows was always around somehow. I know in Canada there's still a number of fan clubs, many uh, fan clubs on Facebook. There's very, uh, various video releases, greatest hits, and season by season. Uh, check them out. But I mean, you watch a show, leave your brain in the door. I mean, there's various bloopers. It's not the greatest production in the world, but uh, the people that were uh, taking part, uh, they basically celebrated the genre. And, uh, you know, it, it caused one uh, spin off, actually, of most comic books. Of the late 60s early 70s the plot of the uh, you know horror comic books went away from blood and gore to more atmospheric that was presented in dark shadows it was a different time it was the hippie era but people were embracing the universal monsters embracing uh, you know the boogeyman uh, in the dark and uh, dark shadows fit the bill and uh, i don't think dark shadows could have lasted any longer than it did because you know times were changing around 72 73 Getting away from the hippie era to towards the uh, 1970s B2 generation or B generation. So on this great uh, warm day in New Brunswick, we're supposed to hit 7 degrees on the Celsius scale. Uh, we're glad that uh, Facebook is back. 14 hours for some people on Facebook is attuned to uh, to uh, abuse. So I hope you're taking time this morning to check out your Facebook uh, messages and to enjoy this podcast. And we like to say in the dark shadows universe... Keep your teeth sharpened because you never know when Barnabas is going to need you for a job to take out somebody evil or good to this matter. Have a good day. Bye.